Christine, panel prep is done. It is. It's looking spectacular. It really is already. <laughs> it's smooth, it's even, and now we're ready to apply our five-year ceramic coating. The five-year gives us the utmost of gloss and protection. Now, those of you that have never done a somewhat exotic sports car, some of you might be wondering, a little nervous, right? do I do something differently? No, you nope. don't. You treat every car with the same respect and care as this car or any other car. It is paint, it is plastic, it's carbon fiber, that's not on every car, but it's paint, <laughs> it's carbon fiber, it's plastic, it's glass. You don't need to worry. The coating performs well on a Volkswagen, it'll perform well on an Audi, a Porsche, a Ferrari, a Lamborghini. And here we go. So I have two towels here. Yeah, so she can reach the roof. I can reach the which roof. Which is a special occasion it for is. you. It's a very rare. Uh, I, I have a lower nap and then a little bit higher nap. And I am going to level with one and then wipe with the other. Right, so I started actually going in a circular motion in the center because I'm priming my pad. Once my pad is primed, then I'll fill in the center section and box the outer edge. Normally we start by boxing the outer edge, but in this case, I put 10 drops on, which is actually too much for this area, but I wanna make sure that my pad is nicely lubricated and that I have it everywhere. And if you're not sure what Ivan is referring to as priming, it means the first time the coating is going on the applicator. So once he's put it enough on there, uh, loading it up or priming it, then he coats. And then now the, the applicator pad already has coating on it. So you need far less. Right. And then we and watch. It will we'll change to an oil slick on water look. And when about 50% of that oil slick on water look is gone, you can start wiping. Now there's a trick to this too. We take our low nap towel, we put it on the surface, we do a little swipe and we stop. And if we see the pattern of the towel, then the coating isn't cured enough yet. So we'll give it another couple seconds to cure and then you'll be able to do that portion. I'll come over to this side of the roof, that way both sides are done basically at the same time. It's a good thing for me to overlap onto that side. And now I can box this in going past where I did before, bring it back here, and I'll fill in this side with circles while you wipe off that side. And Christine is actually not wiping off the coating, she's leveling the coating. Okay. That's why we wanna wait yeah. until the towel doesn't leave anything behind or doesn't pick anything up. It's literally just making those high spots blend in to the rest. Can you reach the center there? Yeah, okay. Again, I can reach the center. Okay. <laughs> and the second towel is just an insurance towel making sure that everything is nice and smooth and it should already feel slick. slick. Yeah, mm -hmm. very slick. I always enjoy taking uh, the towel from the coated section to the knot and yeah. you can almost feel it, whoop, and to the knot and yeah. you can almost feel it, whoop. Yeah, you can feel the towel stop almost. How are we looking over there? Excellent, ready to level. Here I come. You see from there, make sure that I got it in the center. Yep, it's looking good. <laughs> just pass me the towel. I'll just give it a last little insurance wipe in the center just to make sure. Thank you, Ivan. <laughs> oh, wait. So there we go. First panel is coated. Look at the shine already. Yeah, exactly. And use easy to distinguish body lines as your 
your points of reference. Right. Those will be your friend while coding, I yeah. promise. So this whole body line here and down to the end of the flying buttress. Spoilers go. I'm not a big spoiler fan. No, but you know, it sort of suits this car. It does. Coating underneath here will definitely help on the bug. It definitely, yeah. So Christine is working on the spoiler. I'm going to do the other half of the flying buttress. If we do get a high spot, it'll be simple to correct in the first hour or two. We just need to add a little more coating to it and wipe and we'll be good. So here I had just a little too thick. I'm just going to spread it out a little further, make it easier to level with the other towel. Start in that corner and then we'll do it. Yeah. And then this way? Yeah. Okay. You think it's ready, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So working along the panel, I'll start in the center and work my way this way. That way we know everything is covered and done. Being methodical really helps when you're applying a coating. Knowing where you're going and where you want to go. More importantly, where you've been. A lot of times it's easier if you do the same process each time you apply a coating. Exactly. Start in the same location and work your way around the car the exact same way each and every time. Exactly. Now this vehicle presented a few special challenges. <laughs> it does. Yeah. So we're going, we're going at it just a little differently than I normally do. Off you go. Done. Yes. Okay. Just around the V10 here. It's a little, just get the quick dry with the gray towel. It's just there's a little high spot left, so it's easier to get off with that towel. It gets in deeper. Above it. Yeah, there you go. You got it. So, next up, we're going to work our way from the front to the back. And when I'm doing the door, I'm actually gonna also work from front to back. That way, as Christine is following me, it's a lot easier to follow along instead of doing the top and working your way down. That way you're in each other's way. Yeah. <laughs> Start with this little piece here, box it in, and then I'll work my way back. You're doing that. I'm gonna refold my towel so I have a nice clean surface here. Working with something brand new. Refolding the towels. Yeah. Having folded towels actually has a lot of importance to it. Primarily to have a little more thickness for less pressure points.
Very important to get inside the door handle as well. That way when the owner reaches their fingers in there, they'll feel the slickness. The slickness. We go. We actually want to do the glass first. Coating crosslinks very differently on glass. Crosslinks much quicker because the glass is less porous than the paint. We got a nice richness to this matte trim as well. It's not glossy, but it's just it was almost looking grayish. Yeah, I love coatings on on matte vehicles, yeah. matte, almost matte anything. It does not leave or change the appearance. No, it's it's it just deepens. Yeah, and almost makes it look even more soft than what a matte exactly traditionally is. And it feels amazing. Yeah. So today in the shop, it's rather humid, so the... Uh, yeah, this is going quick. Yeah, the coating is uh, cross-linking very quickly, which is not a bad thing, but you just have to know your, your humidity and the, how the coating is reacting. I also did the carbon fiber okay. at the bottom. Where did you start with the carbon? At the front, at all, the front? The, okay. all the way here. While Ivan's applying the next panel or the next layer to the next panel, I'm trying to catch the, the lights to make sure that there are no high spots, that I didn't leave anything behind. Yeah, high spots, you know, we talk about them a lot. They're critical because, well, you're leaving extra coating there. So it's not as if it's a bad thing. No. Technically, but visually. Yeah, technically, it's still protecting. Yeah, visually, and eh, not so much. So being vigilant, always looking for high spots. When you see them, they're easy to correct. Just making less work for us so we don't have to correct them. Right, exactly. So, you know, one high spot, that happens, not bad. But if you're getting multiple high spots, you have to reevaluate how you're applying your coating. Generally, it's a quick tweak. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's either you're putting too much on your applicator, you're not leveling correctly. If you're working by yourself, coating actually goes very well. Yeah, actually, when you start bringing somebody else into it, it really does make it a little bit more tricky. Yeah, so all the way to the, okay. yeah, under there, perfect. And when you are working as a team, it's very important to communicate especially the person applying to let the other person know where they put it on and the person applying has to keep watching again for high spots and to make sure that the person wiping off has done everything they need to do and actually there's a little high spot where right do you almost in the center no on the carbon on the bottom right there yeah you put your towel directly on it oh, perfect. yeah Look at that. excellent got it yes it's important to work as a team yep when you're applying a coating as a duo and generally speaking, the person that is wiping off should be the most experienced person, or the, they're the lead in reality. They're not the person just following behind. Yeah, applying the coating is honestly the easier of the two, yes. Yeah. And requires the less visual attention. Yep. You just have to make sure you're getting it everywhere. The person following you has to make sure it looks good. Well, and they should be also checking to make sure that you have applied it in all, all of the areas. Yeah. So this, this, the light, and then this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could like hide a sandwich in there. Exactly. Aerodynamics.
you just did this, right? From here over or no? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And I did the tail light as well. Went all the way over the green. Okay. I notice uh, towards the end of the coating, my hands get slipperier. Yeah. Right? Because <laughs> your glove gets coated. Yes. With that, the R8 GT is beautiful. It's red, it's done, it's coated, it's protected with our five-year ceramic coating. How was the application? A very easy, very quick, uh, even though we did have to go around some tight edges. But yeah, there's the, odd, there's the odd little nook and cranny. <laughs> I love applying this coating. Yeah, no, beautiful. And the car is spectacular. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, or ideas, please leave them below. We'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, you might want to take a look at this.